Hi, I'm Justin Fraction. Here at Technology Advice, we have this great guy named Matt. I had a meeting with him the other day, and I, later I sent him a note asking him all sorts of questions about this company's analytics on our websites. Matt got back to me the next day with in-depth answers to everything I asked for, and a link to some website analytics tools that could help me further. He was a real lifesaver. I hope one day you all get a Matt of your own. But until then, you might want to try today's application heap. But first, if you're just starting your search, we can help. Visit our website at technologyadvice.com to get a free list of analytics software recommendations. Click the annotation in the top right corner of your screen to get started. And if you find this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. We really love it when you do that. Heap claims it has the capability to track every click, page view, tap, swipe, or gesture made on your website or mobile app. That way it can give you an accurate picture about who your visitors are and through that, what their user journey is like. Like many user interaction tracking applications, Heap starts with a single snippet of Java code that you'll place in the header of your website, and then you wait. Heap will automatically begin tracking user behavior as soon as someone visits a site or uses your application. Heap's application is broken up into several sections. The Event Visualizer allows you to type in and select a page that you'd like to track the statistics of. Like the name states, it's all pretty visual. There's no tracking codes or tags of any kind. Instead, you're simply going to click on the area of the page you want to track. Give it a name, and that's that. By clicking on the area of a web page, you'll also be able to view historical data, telling you, for example, what users clicked the button. Heap also works by tracking events that you create that might occur when a user interacts with your product. Users have stated that they've had problems with this aspect of the program, saying it can be slow to respond. Hopefully, they'll get to fixing that. The events function on the main web page allows you to search for specific events that may have taken place when a user visits your product. These events may also be ones that you define specifically that you want to track. This program will allow you to view a product's event stats in graph or funnel views. And you can further refine the stats printed on the graphs by entering in filters to give you different data as well as compare graphs between two actions or areas of the site. The funnel function of the software is extra important for anyone running an analysis. By entering in a starting function and ending function, you're able to get a better analysis of a user's unique journey. So in this example, you can see how many users clicked on custom pricing and then how many went to sign up after clicking on it. So think about it. If you have this implemented in your product and you can track what your user's behavior looks like, then you can potentially figure out pain points. If someone's watching a particular video or going to a particular page but signing up after going to one but not the other, then you know that one of those videos is not effective and the other one is. As a heads up, some users have stated that it could be easier to run a report and share this data. Heap has data governance tools built into the software. Let's say you're collecting data from multiple sources, including your own website. The data you've collected and named might be linked, but you're not going to mess up the structure by giving certain aspects of the website's captured performance a name. And you can also set rules for how anything captured from your sites will be named and organized. Back when I did paralegal work many years ago, we dealt with a lot of paper. So we'd have a group of documents we'd refer to as pristine documents, and then we'd have copies made from those, and those were the ones we worked with. In this case, Heap saves your raw event data, and you work with data on your virtual layer, so no matter what you do with that data, the original raw event data will be just fine. Some users have stated that even with some documentation, Heap is kind of hard to truly understand how to use without some assistance. But don't let that deter you. Because some users have stated, once they learned more about the software from someone who knew it pretty well, they were able to accomplish things they didn't even know were possible. Finally, Heap has what it calls effort analysis tools. We talked about this a little bit earlier. Yes, you can always run a report measuring how many people move from one step to another on your site and guess what their issues were. But with this tool, you can also get insight into where things went wrong visually. In this example, you can see what steps the user took as they traveled from one page to the page you want them to use to sign up for this service. With effort analysis, you can also get an idea of what the software thinks are pain points that need to be addressed. Heap has four pricing tiers with a free trial. The free tier is, well, free, and the growth, pro, and premier tiers all differentiate between each other based upon the size of your team in addition to features offered only in certain tiers. The website has a great chart that you might want to check out for more info. It's much more detailed than I can discuss here. It's a good idea to get multiple quotes before choosing an analytic solution. If you're interested in Heap, you might also want to consider Tune. 
Full Story, Funnel, and Charito. If you're still not sure if Heap is right for you, visit our website at technologyadvice.com for our free list of the best analytics options available today. Click the button on the left to get started.